I'm bringing it back to Japan. Ego wa karimasen. Ego wa karimasen. Aji America Jin. Ego wa karimasen. Miyaji Kasegu Dala. Hello everyone, Atomic Dudman here, and I'd like to welcome you back to the Saints HQ, where we talk everything Saints Row related. Today, we will be discussing the exact moment of when Volition betrayed their original fan base of the Saints Row franchise. Also, in my latest video, it shows that 91.6% of you are not yet subscribed. If you could please click that subscribe button, it really helps the channel out a lot. What this channel is really about is pure gaming news, game reviews, and a voice for the community's wish list of what we want in future titles of upcoming video games. I try to upload at least one time per week, so if you want to be notified when a new video goes live, shoot that small little bell icon down below. With all that being said, kick back, relax, and shut the hell up and listen. The hype and media coverage of Saints Row the Third was through the roof, with promises of going even more over the top and delivering an even better experience than that of Saints Row 2. During this time, players had rained down hellfire in Stillwater and explored every nook and cranny of the map and were ready to move on to a new city to expand the Third Street Saints territory. Many fans such as myself were excited to just be in a brand new city, but I was younger then, and how young and foolish I truly was. When Saints Row the Third finally launched on November 15th of 2011, it was a financial success for Volition and Deep Silver, but a massive stab in the back to all the original Saints Row fans. Saints Row the Third was nothing of what Volition promised. The game was missing absolutely everything from the last game and building little to nothing off of the foundations of the first two Saints Row installments. Clothing was dumbed down to where you had presets of clothes to choose from. The layered system was completely replaced and gone. The streets all looking exactly the same. Barely any interesting or unique NPCs on the street walking around living their virtual lives were present anymore. The NPCs you did see all had the same player model and didn't react of the player as much unless they were smashing their face in with the purple dildo bat. The city of Steelport didn't even stand a chance against the breathing concrete jungle of Stillwater. They did not have themed or defined districts, hidden locations, or enterable buildings like that of Saints Row 1 and 2 had. Combat system was completely ravaged. It was turned into a quick time event rather than an actual system to fight off opponents. Oh, and when it came down to the gangs, that's when you really felt the knife twist in your back. The game tried so hard to make these gangs look different, but at the end of the day, they all felt like one big massive gang. Because at the end of the day, that's what they were. One massive united syndicate formed against you. There was too much unity for them to be a true gangster. Gangsters are selfish and they want to take it all, not divide and coexist an entire city. When Volition claimed that this would be their wackiest game yet, they made this game into an open world anime Fortnite jiggle physics game for immature teen boys who were just hitting puberty with all of the perverted over the top sexual humor throughout the game. There was no balance and Volition deemed this type of half-baked game to be acceptable. We no longer had fun, meaningful activities. Neighborhoods were cut up so tiny within the map that they were like pieces to a jigsaw puzzle. You were strong armed into doing awful activities that replaced the cult classic ones such as Tiger Escort, replacing the normal escort missions. The boss used to be a hardcore, ruthless, sadistic, angry, power-hungry killer. But when Saints Row the Third rolled around, he was a little diva bitch with a smart mouth and cheesy one-liners that became god-awful to listen to over time. After you became rich in Saints Row the Third, there was nothing, I mean, absolutely nothing to spend your money on or anything to really do within the game, just just nothing. Saints Row 1 and 2 allowed you to replay missions 
partake in fun activities that had replay value to them and were entertaining to replay. In Saints Row 1 and 2, there were secret locations, collectibles to go out and discover. Diversions were scattered throughout the city for players to discover and roleplay in, but not in Saints Row the 3rd. Saints Row the 3rd just fell short of all of this. Volition took advantage of the original Saints Row community by leading us to believe that there would be funny parts, that there would be a balance, there would be meaningful parts to this game, and there was none. The best parts of the game were shown, and that was literally the intro of robbing a bank and getting caught and skydiving out of the plane and landing on to the streets of Steelport. Volition stripped every meaningful part of what Saints Row used to be and replaced it with systems to pump out these cash grab games to lure unsuspecting customers in just to deceive them to make that extra buck. And then they started monetizing their games when selling all these little microtransactions and even selling cheat codes of what used to be free in the game and fun into a payable cheats. And to screw up the game even further, they made it overly easy. Everything, you had these upgrade menus that could give you unlimited health and no fall damage and this, that, and the other. In Saints Row 2, you had to earn all that and had to grind for it. There was no grind in this game. If you had money, you could buy it. If you had the respect, you could buy it. The end, you're invincible, and nothing can ever touch you ever again. And it, that's just ridiculous. Saints Row the Third is Volition's most recognizable title out of any Saints Row installment due to how much it sold and how much it was marketed. The thing is, Volition stabbed all of us, the original fan base, in the back by even trying to sell the notion that these were Saints Row games. There is no gritty passion left in these games like there used to be in the first two installments of the franchise. The streets of Steelport are a perfect representation and reflect this bitter hollowness of a passion that has been lost within the game. Saints Row the Third just seemed to be a joke to Volition as did Saints Row IP overall did to them. Look where that got them. They destroyed their entire timeline trying to prove they were not a GTA clone and then became so different that when they looked in the mirror, they couldn't even tell who the hell they were anymore as the freaking franchise. The original fan base was cast aside when we were loyal for years upon years as Volition catered to the new age fans that consumed and threw their game aside after they were done with it. They stood by it all. I myself bought every single Saints Row game hoping eventually Volition would make a Saints Row game similar to that of the originals. But when Agents of Mayhem hit, I dropped my flags and went my separate way back down memory lane to replay Saints Row 1 and 2. It was awful seeing our beloved franchise stray so far from their original formula, going downhill like the series did. But there's still hope for the next Saints Row installment to be great like the gangbanger you used to truly be within Saints Row. As many of the newer age fans abandoned Volition and their new franchise of Saints Row, Volition has now seen the errors of their ways, and their next Saints Row installment is going to be in a long-awaited love letter to us hardcore, original Saints Row fans. And that letter has sure as hell been long overdue. Great news! I've crafted an official Discord for this channel. And also, due to this channel not being monetized, I have created a Patreon if you would love to further support me. Both links are down in the description below if you are interested. If you enjoyed today's show, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I personally would really love to see you around the channel more often. How do you feel about this topic? Do you feel Volition stabbed the original Saints Row community in the back like I do? Let me know down in the comment section below. And make sure to pull up and pull out your Glock and pop that bell icon to get notified once a week when a new video goes live. And be sure not to miss the next Saints HQ meeting. I really do hope all you enjoyed your time with me, as I always do with you, your host, Atomic Dudman. And until next time.